A Wake County student suspended after school officials say they smell drugs on her. Yeah, no drugs were ever found, and the teenager even passed a drug test. CBS North Carolina's AJ Janneville spoke to the girl and her mom and is here now with their story. AJ? Sean Sharon, Jaquela Johnson and her family tell me the suspension was inappropriate, and now they're looking for an apology. I was feeling embarrassed because they called me out of everybody. 15-year-old Garner Magnet High School sophomore Jaquela Johnson tells me she was in Chinese class with about 30 other students when a school resource officer interrupted the class saying they smelled weed from the hall. After about five minutes of searching the class, Johnson says the officer singled her out. They told me to spread my fingers and they smelled my fingers. Johnson tells me she was taken to the office and patted down. An officer made her remove her shoes and also went through her book bag. According to Wake County School documents obtained by CBS North Carolina, there's no mention of finding drugs, but instead, Johnson was suspended for five days based solely on a pungent smell. She was also required to take drug classes or face suspension for the rest of the year. Johnson's mother tells me when the school called to notify her of the suspension, she couldn't believe what they were saying. I said, not my child. I said you had the wrong child. Tamika Johnson tells me the day of her daughter's suspension, she took her to a medical lab to get a drug test, and everything came back negative. Armed with the results, Johnson took her daughter to the school for an apology and to be reinstated into classes. But instead, the pair were given another official document, this time saying Jaquela was in possession of marijuana. And I said, well, you checked this box and wrote on here possession of marijuana, but you're saying that you didn't find any marijuana on her. And he was like, that is correct. And he said, well, there was no other option to check. In my head, you don't check anything then. Her mother tells me she now fears this will follow her daughter for the rest of her life. And she's worried this is happening to other students who might not know how to stand up for themselves. Now, as for the removal of the suspension, that has to come from an official appeal to the school board. Jaquela's appeal date is set for May 18th. But she tells me during her suspension, she missed at least three tests and is now struggling to catch up. Sharon? And Wake County Schools declined to comment on this specific incident due to student privacy. They do say, though, while there is no specific policy in the student handbook for suspensions over the scent of marijuana, school administrators can use their best judgment to determine if they believe a student is in possession of drugs.